Welcome to Business Software's overview of our reporting and analytics solution, BizInsight, where I will create from a standard Excel spreadsheet many of you use today a dynamic Excel multi-location, multi-year income statement with full drill-down capability. Using BizInsight, we will build a fully interactive income statement in less than five minutes using our GL content pack that's broken down into functions, analysis sets, and reports. We'll use functions to build the report, and these are broken down by month-to-date, year-to-date, budget, and information functions. Our month-to-date net functions, our month-to-date functions are broken down by month-to-date net debits, credits, net unposted transactions, and net all transactions. We'll use month-to-date net for this particular example. Here, we need to answer some parameter questions, like which company we want to pull information from, what year we need information for, what physical period or month we want to pull information from. In each one of these, I'm anchoring the cell so I can copy across the rest of the sheet. We pull data by account type, class, or all the different segments. This particular example, segment two, is our location segment. And segment three is our natural account segment. So each one of these will add into the parameters. When I click OK, it'll return a value for this particular spreadsheet. And I'm going to add a reversing entry so that our revenue account is represented as a debit. And I'm going to copy this cell across the rest of the revenue accounts so that each one of these will now be connected live to the database. And I'll do this using a formula in number formats so we maintain our spreadsheet formatting. Four asterisk represents a wild card. That means we'll pull all 4,000 accounts as revenue accounts. I'm going to copy the formula down to our expense section. I'm going to take out the reversing entry. In the first item I'm connecting is a list. And I'm going to do this by opening up our function editor. And I'm going to go down to segment three. And instead of one cell, I'm going to highlight three cells, the three cells in the list. And it's going to bring those all into one cell. The next cell we'll create is a high-low range, which allows us to pull those greater than 6,800 and those less than 6,830 simply by highlighting those cells uh, for my segment three parameter. And when I do that, we'll click OK, and it'll pull those accounts. And the last is to go back and connect the single cell like we did earlier, simply by going to segment three and pointing at the single GL account I want to pull in. So we've shown you how to do wild cards list and a range. And this will complete the spreadsheet. And so each one of these is live connected. Now, I want to take and extend this over a three-month trend and build a quarterly summary simply by highlighting the area, dragging and dropping. And now, I have three months plus an extra month I'm going to add our sum features in using just Excel Auto Sum, which I'm going to copy down uh, the rest of the column. Again, I'll use the uh, paste special just to paste the formulas and numbers and keep our spreadsheet formatting. Uh, go ahead and put a description in here, totals. So now I have a three-month trended income statement. Uh, and to create a year-over-year -year analysis, I'm going to copy the same cells we just created over to column 11 and paste them in. And now I've got the same cells, except instead of having 2012 as the year, I'm going to point at the year minus 1, which will always give us the current year minus 1 for this spreadsheet. And it's capable of consolidating all the locations from the single report, since it is a multi-location spreadsheet, and has full drill-down capability. I can drill down by right-clicking, highlighting drill-down pivot, and it brings open a pivot table in Excel where I can add different fields into my pivot table simply by clicking on them. Let's bring the location description and any journal descriptions into the pivot table. So we're able to drill down all the way to the transaction level. Now, I'm going to go in and I want to clean this spreadsheet up a little. And I'm going to do this by coming in and highlighting the rows I want to hide, which is the GL accounts, and highlight, hiding them. And now I built a complete statement in less than five minutes. Thank you for viewing our BizNet software demo. For more information, please contact us at biznetsoftware.com. Thank you.